Hello everybody. Thank you very much for taking the time to tune in into my YouTube channel, which is called Regan Racing 551. Why Regan Racing and why the number's 551? I'll cover all that shortly, but just to give you a, an overview of what this channel is and what it's about. This channel is about endurance training and mainly triathlon. On this channel, I would like to cover all aspects of triathlon as best as I can in my, my limited experience of triathlon. I've been racing triathlons now for the past four or five years. Um, and I've done every single race from, or every single distance from sprint all the way up to full Ironman distance. What does Regan stand for? Well, first thing is Regan is the name of my little boy. And it's also an acronym for Race Endurance Goals and Nutrition. So what I'm going to be covering is all of the race aspects I can as best as I can. Also some goals which I've set aside for myself and also nutrition, which is sometimes known as the fourth or even the fifth discipline. Um, and the numbers 551, well, the numbers 551 were my collar number when I was in the police about four or five years ago. So I just added that in as well. So I want to keep these videos to a maximum of five minutes because... I'm Welsh, my accent is pretty boring, I do drone on a bit, so I want to keep them as snappy as I can and as short as I can so people are getting the best, uh, the most information they can in the shortest possible time period. I don't want to go on and on and on because people don't want to hear it. I'm one minute 40 in and I haven't even told you much about myself. So my name is Scott Askew, I am um, an Ironman triathlete. I have raced, like I said, from every distance from sprints all the way through to full Ironman distance and for me my chosen race distance is 70.3 which is also known as the half Ironman distance which is a 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike and then a 13.1 mile run. So that equates to 70.3 miles for the total race distance. I've set myself a target of qualifying for the Ironman World Championships in 2021 which is going to be held in St. George in Utah. But at the moment, with everything that's going on in the UK and worldwide regarding the coronavirus, I'm not sure whether many races are going to be on uh, in the world at the moment. I, lots have been cancelled, but for me, my A race this year is Turkey 70.3, which I'm hoping to get a race time of roughly around 4 hours 30 to 4 hours 40, which make me very competitive in my age group and hopefully secure a spot at um, on roll down, which I'll explain at a later date what roll down means, um, at the 70.3 World Championships, like I said, is in St. George in Utah in 2021. But we'll have to wait and see to find out exactly what's going to be happening with uh, all these races around the world. If it doesn't happen next year because of the coronavirus, I've trained all year, I will continue to train, and then hopefully I will qualify in 2022 where I'm not sure where the World Championships will be because every year they move them around for the 70.3 distance. And like the full Ironman distance where the races are held in on Kona Island in Hawaii. I've raced one full Ironman distance, which was Wales um, in 2017. And to be honest, it was one hell of a race. Very, very difficult. I'll do a separate podcast. Oh, sorry, I'll do a separate video regarding that. And it was one of the most difficult days of my life. Um, I don't enjoy the full distance. I enjoy 70.3s because you can actually race them and you can feel half decent at the end and it doesn't take you days and days to recover, which is all, not only good for you, but it's also good for your family as well because you're not walking around like the Iron Man, the Iron Man, the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. So I'm coming up to 4 minutes 20 now. Um, like I said, I'm going to cut this off at 5 minutes. So like I said, this channel is dedicated for triathlon, and for triathletes, for those who are, that are obviously racing at the moment, or sorry, or training to race, and for those that are actually thinking about taking up triathlon. It's an amazing sport. It really, really, really is. It will change your life. It also changes your bank balance a lot as well because it's not a cheap sport to get into. Race fees anywhere up to £800 on, on occasions. But I'll cover more of that again. So thank you very much for tuning in this very, very short video. 
I hope that you like it. I hope that you subscribe to it. I hope that you share it with your friends and family during these very difficult times. And on here, I'm going to post lots and lots of free content around training, training techniques uh, and the like. OK, until I speak to you all again very, very soon. Be more, do more and inspire more. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.